University Pirates. Respect the H. Welcome, Pirate fans, to game day here on Sky 4. Respect the H. It's Hampton versus Presbyterian University at 12 noon in South Carolina. We have a lot to talk about today. Jim Heath, Director of Sports Information. We're also going to have an interview with Kyle Kalander, our illustrious commissioner of the Big South, and we'll finish up with newly minted Director of Athletic Development and Sponsorships, Mr. Jermaine Washington. A lot more to talk about. Hang in. Game day, Pirates versus Presbyterian. You can listen to it on 88.1 WHOV. We'll be right back. I was diagnosed with cancer of the left breast. I was never given the option of proton therapy. Fortunately for me, my sister had just toured the facility at the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute. The beam was able to target my tumor precisely without affecting my heart or lungs. After treatment, I'm living my best life. Live your life. Let the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute fight your cancer. Hard work, a love for the game, is mandatory down here. Sacrifice, a desire to be great, lives down here. Excellence, the will to compete, persists down here. This is the Big South, where winners are made. Hampton University is one of the most beautiful university settings you'll find anywhere. From our world-class research centers to our dedication to the arts and our athletic programs where we build champions, we've launched satellites that will better predict the weather. The Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute Cancer Treatment Center is easing human misery and saving lives. Hampton University faculty, staff, and students are making a difference in the global community through service and science. Welcome back. Respect to H. Sky 4 is game day. I stand corrected. It's Presbyterian College, not university. I gave him a little bit too, many, too much props, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to be right back here with the footage, and then I'll come back with Mr. Jim Heath. Three wide receivers far, one to the near ball in the near hash mark at the 43-yard line of Hampton. Williams steps back, looks, throws across the middle, open as Ronald Bell hits, stays on his feet, 35-30. He's got some open field. He's trying to run around, and he gets down to the 20-yard line. A great play to Ronald Bell, a gain of 37 yards, and the Pirates are in business in the red zone. Lomax awaits the snap. Spot is down, kick is away, it is through the air, and it is good, and the Pirates will break on top, and they lead by a score of three to nothing. Snap back to Reynolds. Reynolds with a handoff, and the ball is loose and fumbled, and Hampton's got it. On the return is number six, Capri Doucette, down the sidelines. It's a touchdown for Hampton. Williams in at quarterback, three wide receivers to the far, one to the near, Hampton going from right to left across your radio dial. They throw a pass into the flat, pass is caught, Ronald Bell, 30, 40, Bell gets past the last man, 40, 30, 20, 10, it's a 85-yard touchdown pass to Ronald Bell, six bells for Ronald, and Hampton now leads 16 to nothing. Right there, that's a really good play right there by Ronald Bell. It's a screen play, perfectly blocked by the inside receiver and the outside receiver, and he split that like the Red Sea and took it all the way to the house. Showed a lot of great speed right there. Hampton really opening up the playbook, getting some of their players and their playmakers some big-time opportunities today. Wow, Ronald Bell just took off down the sidelines and nobody could come close to him. Third down and five for Lane near hash mark 45 yard line. Reynolds gets the snap, drops back under pressure and he is going to get hauled down I think by Capri Doucette. Yes, that is. Number six, Capri Doucette. Again, a lot of pressure that Capri Doucette has applied this season. Last, last game, he had two sacks. This game, another sack right here. He's very swift and quick off the edge using that speed rush, and that's a great play for the Hampton defense. The sack is a loss of 12, putting Lane back on their own 33-yard line. 
Hampton will bring a running back into the game. This time it is now Will Robinson who is in the game. And snap to Williams. Fakes the handoff to Robinson. Now throws to Robinson out of the flat. Oh, look at all this room. 50, 45, 40. Will Robinson, 35-yard line. Knocked down at the 33. Warning. Danger. Will Robinson for a gain of 22. 46-yard field goal attempt for Lomax. This ball is between the hash marks, but just to the left. Snap back. Thompson with the spot, low line drive, kick by Lomax is in the air, and it is good for Evan Lomax. So second down for the Pirates, call it 12 from the 15. Williams, the quarterback, in the pistol with McKenzie still in the backfield. They're walking down a linebacker to blitz, but they drop out of it, and Williams drops back and throws across the middle, pass is complete, 20-yard line, 25, 30, it's a first down for Hampton and Ronald Bell. Williams gets the snap, drops back, looking to throw a screen, but then he gets tangled up, and he runs. 45, 50, makes a man miss at the 45-yard line, then gets taken down at the 43. Back-to-back 13-yard -back gains for Hampton. It's another first down for the Pirates at the lane 42. Hampton will have first down and 10. They have the ball at their own 11-yard line. Handoff, 15, 20, 25. Oh, it's Will Robinson. Gets to the outside, makes a man miss. Picks up a blocker at the 40. Far side line, 50, 45, 40. He cuts back to the inside. He's still going at the 20. Penalty flags come flying in at the end. And what a great run by warning. Danger, Will Robinson. Bell was lined up in the backfield, goes in motion. Williams looks his way, then throws to the end zone. A wide open Byron Barney for a Byron. touchdown. And the wide receiver was wide open right there. I really love that action. But they're going to hand off to Robinson. They hit him, and no, Williams kept it. Got to the 50, to the 45, and to the 40. Williams he faked out everybody, Jesus. including me. Yeah. Big run again for oh, Delman Jay. Williams. <laughs> Williams gets the snap, drops back. Goes for it all towards the end zone, and it is caught, I believe. Yes, Byron Barney for an acrobatic touchdown in triple coverage. And the Pirates get the score right back, making it 33-8. to eight. And that right there is what I like to call a Dilford dime. That's a beautiful pass right there. <laughs> Actually, in the coverage of three lane defenders, the cornerback, two cornerbacks and a safety put it right in the bread basket. And that's a huge touchdown for Hampton. And again, Delman Williams playing big today and full of confidence. Hand off, Harriet. No, Williams keeps it. 40, 35, 30, 24 yard line. Going over the century mark today is the quarterback, Delman Williams. They get the playoff. Williams back to the 15 throws to the end zone. Antonio Graham from Churchland for the touchdown. And another nice dime. That's another beautiful pass right there, right on the outside and right between the, the back pylon and the middle of the field. That's a beautiful play. Reynolds, Reynolds on the run. Reynolds rolling. Reynolds almost got wrapped up and wrapping his hands around the ball for an interception is Zion Edmonds. Yeah, and that's a huge play right there by Zion Edmonds. He was smelling the ball that whole drive. He almost had an interception on the screenplay. And right there, he undercuts the out route and gets the ball back to the Hampton Pirate offense. And again, huge play by Edmonds. The fourth interception of the season for Hampton. We're going to go to a quick commercial. There's a lot more to talk about. Jim Heath is on deck, Director of Sports Information here at Hampton University. Hampton University is one of the most beautiful university settings you'll find anywhere. From our world-class research centers to our dedication to the arts and our athletic programs where we build champions, we've launched satellites that will better predict the weather. The Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute Cancer Treatment Center is easing human misery and saving lives. Hampton University faculty, staff, and students are making a difference in the global community through service and science. At the beginning of 2016, I was diagnosed with a pretty large brain tumor and a very rare form of brain cancer. We came to the conclusion that proton therapy was the best solution for me because as a young woman, we wanted to preserve as much of my brain as we could without treating areas that weren't affected by the cancer cells. Proton therapy spared my quality of life. It put a smile back on my face that I hadn't seen in months. Live your life. Let the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute fight your cancer. Welcome back, Pirate fans. It's game day. Hampton versus Presbyterian College, 12 o'clock. You can listen to it on uh, HOV 88.1 
or it'll probably be on ESPN Plus. But I want to talk about sports information. A lot of you out there don't really understand what sports information is. So what we decided to do was bring the expert, Mr. Jim Heath, Director of Sports Information. Welcome, Jim. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. You're a longtime Virginia resident and also sports information expert. So we want you to let our viewers out there really get a chance to understand what sports information is all about. Sports information, in a nutshell, we are the ones that will be compiling statistics, update the website, write recaps, promote stories to local papers, TV, national TVs, with our case with the Big South Move, and just trying to promote all the positive aspects on Hampton University athletes and coaches. So to put it in corporate terms, it's the dissemination of information related to intercollegiate athletics. You nailed it right there. Well, that Northeastern that, education really works that, that, every now that, that, and then. That bails you. That bails you. But also, you know, you're involved with our website, which has a lot to do with Hampton Nation as you work with uh, Jermaine Washington. You also work with Ms. Richardson in regards to marketing and promotions. You also put the academic uh, successes with, with Ms. Dr. Jackson and Ms. Winston. And then, oh, by the way, we have an online store that uh, you do a lot to promote also. ShopPiratesGear.com, throw the quick plug out. We have a hand, my staff and I have a hand in a lot of different aspects across not only Hampton Athletics, but in some ways across the whole school. Plus you do a lot of communication with the uh, Office of University Relations and our local media. You know, shout out to Dave Johnson, uh, Daily Press, who does a lot for us. And you, you, you also uh, look at the different human interest stories that you find for each of our student athletes that talk to the coaches. Uh, and we get them and we send them out to whoever wants them. You played a big part in our um, ESPN lacrosse story. You played a big part in our women's soccer story. You played a big part in our Big South story, leaving the MEAC, and also the negotiations with the MEAC and, and us and how it was portrayed in the media. Yes, that, that if there was ever a interesting stretch, that would be it. But my staff at the time, we, all, we went through it, went through, got, a, got all the right stuff out, and everything went pretty well. On the other hand, you were able to shut down information when we ran our coaches search for football so that nobody really knew what was going on until the end. Yes. Yes, it was. Uh, I was informed appropriately timed at a men's basketball game. Everything was already rolling out. Everything was good. But uh, Jim Heath does a great job in communicating uh, to all of our masses what Hampton University Athletics is all about. Uh, we'll be back with an interview with Kyle Kalander, the Big South Commissioner, here on Sky 4, Respect the H. It's game day. The Hampton Experience, homecoming 2018, October 27th at Hampton University's Armstrong Stadium. Fan zone tailgate and parade downtown at 10 a.m. Exciting performances by Marching Force and Ebony Fire. Hampton Pirates versus the Virginia University of Lynchburg Dragons. HU homecoming October 27th. With the brain tumor being so close to my optic nerve, regular radiation would definitely have damaged those optic nerves. There was that possibility of blindness. Proton therapy gave me the ability to do the things that I need for my family. This is what cancer treatment looks like at the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute. Minimal damage to healthy tissue. Minimal side effects. Live your life. Let us fight your cancer. Ask your oncologist about proton therapy. Welcome back to Respect the H. Sky 4 is game day. Hampton University versus Presbyterian College at 12 noon. We're now in the Big South. We have a big interview coming up with our commissioner of the Big South, and he will tell you why uh, they wanted Hampton University in the Big South Conference. Here's Eugene Marshall. Respect the H. Sky 4. I'm here with the commissioner of the Big South, uh, Kyle Calandra. Kyle, great to have you here at Hampton. Hey, I'm really pleased to be here. I've been looking forward to being here for a football game for a long time, so it's, it's great that uh, it's finally transpired. 
Well, you know, with the addition of Hampton University and USC Upstate to the, to the Big South, what do you think that's going to do for the conference? Well, number one, as we looked at both Hampton and USC Upstate, it was about the institution, the institution, the, the profile academically, institutionally, how it fit with the Big South Conference and with both of the institutions. It is a great fit, and we have so much respect for Hampton as an institution, what they do for their students and preparing them for life. And then on the athletic side, it's a great fit as well. You know, Hampton obviously brings football, a great sport matchup, your commitment to success in Division I uh, is, uh, is really strong, and so from that aspect, it's going to make us better as a conference. Well, we look forward to a great relationship here with the Big South and Hampton University, live from the Hampton University Charleston Southern football game here on Respect to H, Sky 4. When I was diagnosed with the prostate cancer, I thought that was a death sentence. It was surgery or regular radiation. They didn't tell me anything about proton therapy. Thank goodness I had people uh, around me that said you need to check out the Hampton University proton therapy. I just was delighted to have proton therapy. I feel great. I had no side effects and I didn't miss a day of work. We're very fortunate to have a facility like this here in Hampton. Live your life. Let the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute fight your cancer. Hard work, a love for the game, is mandatory down here. Sacrifice, a desire to be great, lives down here. Excellence, the will to compete, persists down here. This is the Big South, where winners are made. Hampton University is one of the most beautiful university settings you'll find anywhere. From our world-class research centers to our dedication to the arts and our athletic programs where we build champions, we've launched satellites that will better predict the weather. The Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute Cancer Treatment Center is easing human misery and saving lives. Hampton University faculty, staff, and students are making a difference in the global community through service and science. The Hampton Experience, homecoming 2018, October 27th at Hampton University's Armstrong Stadium. Fan zone tailgate and parade downtown at 10 a.m. Exciting performances by Marching Force and Ebony Fire. Hampton Pirates versus the Virginia University of Lynchburg Dragons. HU homecoming, October 27th. Welcome back. Sky 4, respect to H, it's game day. Hampton University versus Presbyterian College at 12 noon in South Carolina. Game to be aired on ESPN+. Plus plus 88.1 WHOV. It is my honor and privilege to introduce to our audience our new Director of Athletic Development and Sponsorships, Mr. Jermaine Washington. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. Appreciate it. You know, uh, it was good to, to get a chance to meet with you and, and uh, you showed that you were interested in coming. And uh, as an old basketball guy to another old basketball guy, <laughs> or I should say a young old basketball guy, uh, it's good to have you on the team. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, Trans, this has been great. Uh, can't, can't, you know, say enough about you and the fellow colleagues that welcomed me down here. Been, been, been an excellent transition, as I mentioned. Um, but coming in, you know, Hampton, great environment, and, and looking to continue to, you know, to build the tradition that you guys already have in place and just try to go forward with that. And, um, Excellent to come in right now when you guys going right to the Big South. I mean, it's a great, great, great opportunity. So I'm happy to be here. One of the things I know you started out with right away is you've been trying to reach out and has successfully reached out to some of the alums and some of the board members of Hampton Nation and also reached out to some of the Booster Club members. Yes, yes, absolutely. So right away, you know, just trying to get my, my feet up under me. Uh, had, some really good op had a really good opportunity to talk to um, some of the board members, some of the chairs, uh, like you just mentioned, some of the booster clubs, um, been able to get out and have some good conversation at the games, which was great just to get a feel and an understanding of what, you know, the Hampton Nation, what it was all about, what they were looking to do, and how I was coming to look and enhance it. So, I mean, it was great, and I think we just looking to move forward and continue to build on that. And then you had a chance to sit with uh, Ms. Jackson, had a chance to sit with um, not only Ms. Jackson, but also uh, Mr. Rose and kind of get the history and then you and Ms. Richardson have been locked at the hip going around the community and trying to um, get a chance to see what goes on on our sponsorship side of the house. Absolutely. And that's, um, and like I said, just trying to get my feet above me, but it's been great so far. Um, Dr. Jackson has been great. 
Um, of course, just let me know how things have been going prior to me coming here and what we're looking to do moving forward. <clears throat> Can't say enough about Ms. Richardson, of course. She's right there next door to me every day, so we talking and, and she's letting me know what the community's looking for, what we're looking to do in the community, and how we're looking to actually enhance what we already have with the community. So I think that's great as well. So we'll be out and out and about this week, next week, and moving forward, just trying to make sure the community understands exactly what Hampton has to offer, and we want to make sure they, they getting down here and talking to us as well. And Mr. Rose, um, can't say enough about him, but he's been definitely um, transitioning me, giving me some information. And one of the things that, that I think you notice is the fact that everybody uh, is looking to see what Hampton's going to do since we joined the Big South. It seems that uh, you know, people that you've spoken to all want to know, what's Hampton going to do next? What's going on? And so that little interest, you know, it's our hope that we can turn that into uh, dollar signs. Absolutely. And um, just by visiting uh, our conference, um, just checking out a few schools so far that we have been to, just looking at their environment, looking how things have worked at those other universities. We're trying to make sure we're on board with that. And we're trying to let them know that we definitely want to make sure our visiting teams, when they come here, they feel at home. So just for, for example, just playing a, a mama from university, great environment, great atmosphere, great stadium. When they come here, I want to make sure they feel at home. So letting the community know, letting all our sponsorship guys know, anything they give us and everything's going to go into good use. So we just want to make sure that we get Hampton where it needs to be and making sure that Hampton is represented in the best light. Absolutely. One of the things that you've been able to do is reach out with university relations. Uh, I should say university development as well as you met with university relations just so you can introduce yourself but university development so there's some joint projects that you've been able to do with mr hunter and some of the other people that you guys are working on so that we go out as a university not just as an athletic department absolutely and that was one of my my biggest things when coming here just trying to get an understanding of how we was doing things and not wanting to be divided um, money comes to the university and it goes a long way so we like to make sure that we make sure we spend it and make sure that people understand how transparent we are as an athletic department but, but also as a university so um, myself and Mr. Gary Hunter have sat down had um, a few meetings so we are going to be tag teaming going out so we have a few um, very interested sponsorship people on, on the list and we should be meeting with those guys this week um, and that's just like I said just getting the ball rolling we have homecoming coming soon so we um been having a lot of good conversations and a lot of engagement with some people that's very interested so I think we should be going be good and then we'll get the Hampton University uh, Pirate Nation or Hampton Nation board together so we can start meeting with them and also begin to with basketball season around the corner we want to get out and uh, travel on the road with our pirates so we can get some of our alumni who support us heavily to come and be a part of our experience on the road. Absolutely, and that's, um, it's great to hear that, you know, especially with me coming here, like I said. Um, we have the opportunity to go out to California this year in Detroit where we have some people in the Midwest and the West Coast that's very, very eager to see their Hampton Nation Pirates play in the area where they are familiar with. So I know we have a really good uh, following over that way. And from, from my um, responses so far, we look like we have a really good turnout in those areas. So I'm, I'm just eager to be a part of it. And then we're gearing up for our homecoming fan zone, which usually uh, is a big, big success. Uh, as we talked about in our earlier segment, uh, a couple episodes ago, we talked about the fact that when we started out, mm -hmm. we started out my first year with a $24,000 profit. All right. We All went right. to 36. Then we instituted with, um, with the help of Miss Richardson and uh, Mr. Jack, Mr. Buster Jackson, Miss Jackson at that time. Now she's Dr. Jackson and uh, also Miss Parker. Okay. We increased to ninety thousand dollars in one year. Wow. And then the following year, which was last year, mm -hmm. we went to one hundred thirty-six thousand. So we uh, we did a hundred percent more than we had done two years ago. Absolutely. And so this year, we're really looking to up it to uh, either 150 or 200,000 just in the fan zone. And we also had two years in a row, 13,000 people at our homecoming football game. The stadium only seats 8,000. There we go, there we go. So we only looking to move forward when it comes to that. I mean, and those are great numbers. The profit margin is great. It's great to have that support from the alumni, making sure they come back during those times. I mean. Um, just through conversation, you know, we putting together some events with the alumni and looking for them between homecoming. I know another big one is of actually graduation, graduation time as well. So we have some things in the pipeline, and I'm glad to hear that they are actually, you know, giving back, as they say. And that's look good for Hampton Nation and, um, and Hampton University. Well, 
Mr. Washington, again, thanks for coming by. Pirate fans, Jermaine Washington, our new director of athletic development and sponsorships. We'll be back. We're going to commercial game day. Get ready. Our Pirates versus Presbyterian College at 12 o'clock noon in South Carolina. Be right back. Hampton University is one of the most beautiful university settings you'll find anywhere. From our world-class research centers to our dedication to the arts and our athletic programs where we build champions, we've launched satellites that will better predict the weather. The Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute Cancer Treatment Center is easing human misery and saving lives. Hampton University faculty, staff, and students are making a difference in the global community through service and science. The Hampton Experience, homecoming 2018, October 27th at Hampton University's Armstrong Stadium. Fan zone tailgate and parade downtown at 10 a.m. Exciting performances by Marching Force and Ebony Fire. Hampton Pirates versus the Virginia University of Lynchburg Dragons. HU homecoming October 27th. With the brain tumor being so close to my optic nerve, regular radiation would definitely have damaged those optic nerves. There was that possibility of blindness. Proton therapy gave me the ability to do the things that I need for my family. This is what cancer treatment looks like at the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute. Minimal damage to healthy tissue. Minimal side effects. Live your life. Let us fight your cancer. Ask your oncologist about proton therapy. New coaches, new conference, same school spirit. Hampton University. Tickets on sale now. Welcome back, Pirate fans. Game day. Hampton University versus Presbyterian College at 12 noon. You can view the game on ESPN Plus. You can listen to the game on 88.1 WHOV. Next week, we'll be starting our homecoming trot. It's time to get ready for homecoming. On October 27th, at 2 o'clock Armstrong Stadium, our Hampton Pirates will be playing Virginia University of Lynchburg. So we want all of our alums and all of our fans in the audience to come on out. Come on out and support our Pirates in our home game here at your home by the sea. It's game day. Our Pirates are getting ready to take on Presbyterian College. We'll be back next week with another episode of Respect to H. We are over and out. Mm -hmm.